Today we're talking about the metering systems in your camera. Your camera and my camera use a reflective metering system. And what is a reflective metering system? It is the amount of light that is hitting a subject and bouncing back into the camera. The camera companies set this as a baseline to 18% gray. Now in most situations, that's not a problem. We've got bright things and dark things and everything averages out. But in certain situations, like something that's white on white or something that's black on black, you're going to run into a couple problems. Today we're going to show you a few ways to fix that problem and to see the problem when it might be happening. So I have my camera set on aperture priority at ISO 400 at 2.8 and I'm going to point it at a completely white scene and let's see what the meter tells us. Okay, it says 1 1 25th at 2.8 and as I take the photo, it comes out looking fairly gray. Now in the same light, if I point the camera at something black and it says to me tenth of a second at 2.8 and I shoot that photograph and it also comes out looking fairly gray. So the problem arises when the camera is trying to evaluate something that is a completely dark scene or a completely bright scene with no average in between, no bright and no dark. In order to fix the problem, we have to find out how much light is falling on the scene. That light is called the in incidental light. In order to find incidental light, you're going to need a light meter. Turn the power on, turn the ISO to the same value as in the camera, put it inside the light, click away, it tells me 2.8 at 30th of a second. I'm going to shift my camera over to manual, put in those numbers, and fire away. Now, we've got whites that look white, and blacks that look black. 80% of the time, the meter in your camera is gonna work out great. But certain situations, like a dark suit on a dark background, a white dog in a snowbank, or a bride's dress can really cause some problems. Be alert, find out what the incidental light is, and this is gonna help a lot. If you don't have a couple hundred bucks for a light meter, in a future episode, I'm gonna show you how to use a gray card properly.